Hello again, Keith Loki back with another video of FTL. In our prior video, we made it through the first sector with minimal damage and a little bit of upgrading. We got uh, another drone and we have almost enough power to power that drone and our health uh, station. We are now going to go to the next sector and we have an Uncharted Nebula and the Zoltan controlled civilian. If we go for the Nebula, which Nebula are always uh, a little bit annoying. We then have to deal with two hostile sectors, or three hostile sectors. Well, with the bottom one, we only have to deal with one. And then we can take two more civilians till the end sector. We'll go with the civilian sector. It's just easier. Now, let's see. We'll go this way. Trade. No, that's not really worthwhile for me. Get him all healed up. And we're almost at the point where we have 10% faster charge, which will be nice. So we'll go for this one. No, we'll go for this station. This area. Okay, uh, pause. We want to activate the drones. It's going to be once, nice once we get a drone recovery arm, because then we can just fire these things out as fast as we want. As long as we have the required, uh... Ooh, it's flat. That's not good. So I'm going to keep that, uh, those weapons down. Because that flat can really screw us over. little amount of that too. Ship. We're gonna go ahead and grab another power bar so we can power the health station and the drones. Okay. Jump. We're gonna go for this. Because then we can jump to the another one and then have a bunch of decisions to make. We're gonna go for the weapons again. It's my main go-to with this ship design. As long as I can hit it quickly enough. Because as long as I take down one of the weapons, it means I don't have to worry too much. Will it not accept your surrender? It means I don't have to worry too much about their weapons. Because in most cases, they only have one shot in the first few areas, meaning I don't have to worry about them tearing me apart. Jump. There's a store there, so maybe we can get a drone recovery arm. So I'm going to try and save as much money as I can. And we're only going to launch one drone this time. And heal it up a level of weapons. Decent. So their weapons are gone, this is a uh, drone ship, so they don't actually have people that can repair them. So we should, hey, and the drones are too, so they're dead in the water pretty much. Come on, one more shot. I'm going to try and keep uh, drone usage down a bit because we don't want to burn through our whole supply of drone parts until we get a drone recovery arm. Then it won't matter. Tour strap. Jump here and then jump back to the store. We want a little bit extra cash. Okay. We just need to take out. Little shields. Shield booster. Okay, we don't have to worry about that laser beam. Good, everything's down. Shields are down still. Weapons are down. As long as we keep those weapons down, we're good. 
They can't jump. And they're dead. Another enemy falls to us. Now we're going to jump back to that store. Let's see if this one has a drop up there. If we don't, then we jump to the other store. Reconstructive teleporter. Ooh, that would be nice to have, but no. Ion Charger. They produce power. Those would be nice to have, but I don't want to spend that yet. Sell. Okay, we're going to jump to the other store now, and then we'll go to that distress beacon. They have what I'm looking for. This heals all friendly crew in a room, can target your own ship. Darn. So this place doesn't have any either. The certain power boost to your reactor upgrade increases the power amount. Clone bay. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and buy a few of those. A little bit more health. We have enough fuel for now. I just want to have enough money on hand to get that uh, slightly decline. That sucks. But we want to have enough cash on hand to hopefully yeah, activate both drones because this is a dangerous idea. I don't want to have to deal with those asteroids too long. They will cause problems. It's almost at the next about halfway to that next level too, which is nice. Okay, we have to wait for the FTL to charge. A little bit further, come on. I don't know if we're going to be able to find that drone recovery army easily either, because we are in an area, or we're in the advanced mode, so there's a lot more selection. Well, that sucks. So we're now actually at the end of this location. We actually made it through here pretty quickly. And we got this option. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and buy the six fuel for 12 scrap, because we are going to need that extra fuel. I'd hate to end up dead in the water. So, we'll do that. And now, we are at the end of the state. I could... No. If they were back a lair, I would. But that's just going to equal me getting screwed over. So we're going to jump to the next sector. We're actually going to go for the NG homeworlds, because they seem like a better race to deal with than just the generic civilian sector. So, you're now in a new sector. The madness has been threatening the NG core worlds, but you should be able to stock up for your journey. So this is going to be another easy sector. Um, I'm going to go ahead, though, and end the video here. If you liked this video, leave a like. If you disliked it, as always, leave a dislike and also comment and uh, tell me why you disliked my video. And if you want to see more uh, videos, go ahead and uh, leave a subscription and you'll see them be posted usually Monday to Friday. I thank you for watching. watching. I'm Keith Loki and you have a good night.